Borderlands. So it's a first person shooting game about four mercenaries. I'll be playing the one on the left. So as we jump into the game, you can see it's a pretty standard first person shooting game. This man, gun, Sledge, has something we need. The bottom left. You are going to get it from him. Sledge is a bad man who has done terrible so things. So on the top to right corner, you see this female character Do talking to must. us. Her name is Angel, and she guides us along the story and gives us purpose to jobs that we're gonna be taking along the game. The story is about four missionaries, like I mentioned, and they're trying to find this vault that's known to have rich technology inside of it. Along our quest, this robot called Claptrap will be guiding us along and giving us pointers on how to play the game. So, the setting is pretty open, you get to roam around the world, and there's this areas in the map where enemies spawn, and you have this weird looking warthog uh, <laughs> animal that comes out of caves. It's uh, pretty interesting because uh, once you kill them, you actually get ammo from them. So you have this uh, almost positive uh, feedback loop. You use ammo, you get it back. Uh, it's not always gonna give you ammo, but there's that chance. So this map is pretty, pretty big. So it's quite useful here that. I get an option to use a vehicle to roam around it. Walking this map can be annoying and will take some time. So having a vehicle just, just speeds up the process. And we're mercenaries so we take on jobs and as I come up to this character, uh, I've met or completed one of my objectives to meet him and I get experience points as my reward for this uh, objective but completing other missions not only just gives you experience but also gives you some cash which comes in handy so this experience that we gain from completing missions and defeating enemies can help us level up. And it's unusual to level up in first person shooting games because you just strictly think of what guns the best and use it and defeat enemies, point and shoot. But these level ups helps us gain points that enhances our core mechanics. So these uh, points we gain can be used to attain skills, and these skills become satellite mechanics that uh, enhances our player's experience or our experience with the game. So example of these uh, satellite mechanics is for a sniper you get a chance to upgrade to it or attain focus. This skill improves our accuracy. And there's other sets of skills uh, that we can get. But leveling up from all these experience points gives us that chance. Now with the money that we gain from the missions or along the game, we can use it for multiple uh, Don't to check out things. Store. One is that we can buy 
health packs. Just tell health me kit, if you need anything. Heal ourselves. Shields. That'll do for now. To boost our uh, shields, which is indicated by the blue uh, bar on the bottom left corner, on top of our health bar, which is the red bar. So you also can get upgrades, ammos, or purchase some guns as well with the money. Um, this is the home base that I am at. Is pretty much the main character there that you can talk to is the one that's going to be giving you a the main objectives and move the plot along. So we have this objective markers on our top right corner of the screen guides us. Uh, okay. We're successful in completing the task, so these objectives also can be find or found through navigation. On the bottom center of our screen, there's this green diamond that we can follow, and it will lead us to the next objective for us. Here I'm just shooting. <laughs> Gotta level up. So I just attain game point. Uh, also, this skill, the uh, other skills that I can uh, improve is this uh, blood wing skills that. Uh, my character Mordecai has this bloodwing skill lets me summon a hawk and this hawk will attack enemies that are around me so it adds this extra element to the gameplay of uh, point and shoot so this uh, art style or aesthetic that Borderlands choose is uh, interesting. This game is quite, quite violent and bloody. But this artwork that they uh, used to portray the game is in a comic style, so it almost. Uh, cancels out the bloodiness or levels it out in a, in a neutral vibe. Uh, it takes away the realistic or realness of the game. But in turn, it gives a colorful, quite vibrant uh, aesthetic to it. So for a first position game, obviously you need to have good guns. The guns here have very... Uh, the guns here have a lot of customization. There's almost every gun or each gun is unique to its own abilities uh, guns have special attributes like fire and multiple uh, shots like burst fire so borderlands takes a very playful tackle on a first person shooting game which is this role playing game vibe 
they can level up some skills and this interesting yeah, the 